Back to the basics, been a lot of things, but I've never been basic. Run around bases, came from the basement, never been shameless. So I got stay in the streets, get dangerous, so I might bang it. Don't like hanging, unless you family, please don't claim it. What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, let me quickly introduce myself. My name's Collins, and I mainly focus on faith, fitness, and lifestyle. So if that's something you're into, then definitely stick around. From the title, you can only see that I'm trying to get things back on track and trying to get my life back together. I've been home for a few months because of Easter. I hope each and every single one of you had a great Easter as well. And now I'm trying to get things back. So I've got a few things to do, such as food shopping, laundry, a bit of clean up of my room, that sort of stuff. Good thing I cleaned up my room a little bit before I left actually. If not, this would have been taking a lot longer. But those are the main things. And obviously I need to hit the gym because while I was home, I only went to the gym once. And I've got a football match coming up the start of next month. I've not played football in a very long time, so I need to get my fitness up just a little bit in this next three weeks. So I need to focus on that as well. So we've got a few things to get going. Like you can even tell, I arrived back to Manchester yesterday and my suitcase is actually still on the floor right there. I haven't tidied it up yet, so I need to get that sorted out. But that won't take me that long <laughs> anyways. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. Like what you claiming, what you saying, what you bought and what you need I'm at the house, ain't at the club, I'm really chilling with my seed I love my poppy, put me on, I'm really chilling with OGs Don't test my gangs to think I'm, man, we gon' we gon' Tryna be here for a while in a good time, but we ain't stressed out, just good wine When I look in the mirror So it looks like I'm a little bit behind on schedule in terms of the timings I wanted to get some things done So I'm just quickly gonna go through my laundry See what I need to, you know, what I can put in now one of the downsides to living with like a bunch of other people is the fact that you, there's never really a perfect time to do your laundry. I don't, there's, I don't know when people are going to be doing that. So you just kind of have to check, engage, and hope for the best that no one's actually doing their laundry at the same time. And from what I can see, no one seems to be doing it. So I'm just going to quickly go through mine. So I've got a bunch of stuff to get through because there's, there was some stuff here before I left for Easter and then there's some stuff here that I brought back that I needed to get washed. So I need to go through all of it today see how much i can get up to but there's going to be about probably three four maybe washes <clears throat> got the first batch out and let's get that done and then while that's while that's in the wash and then i'm going to go to food shopping So I'm finally home now, and this is pretty much the majority of the stuff that I usually get. Unfortunately, because I live with other people, I don't actually have space to put, to get more things. Because obviously my cupboard, and all I have is this. And obviously in, in the fridge, I've just got like one shelf. So I never have enough to buy. Obviously if I had more space, I would stock up on a lot of things. But mainly just buy the essential stuff. So I've got my fruits, my eggs, anything high protein. So I've got my yogurt, high protein cheese, and these high protein puddings, these are actually really nice. Um, so those are the main stuff. And from me, because obviously I'll, I'll be meal prepping. So right now I just got some Southern fried chicken that I'll have now and then in the evenings. But my meal prep's mainly for, with the beef. So I got some grass fed lean steak mince, which is 5% fat. And this is what I usually get. Um, either that or chicken thighs. But I just didn't get chicken thighs today. But I'll probably get it at some point later this week. So all of this is usually, this cost, this was about 31 pounds. That This will probably last me about two weeks, maybe. Because obviously when I'm working, I tend to meal prep. And then I, during those days, I don't really eat much in terms of breakfast. But yeah, this is pretty much the main stock. So I need to put this away, 
the first set of laundry is actually finished. So I've put that to, I've set that to dry. Then I need to put the second set. Then I'm going to head to the gym. So I've been trying to invest more into like mini camera gears and camera accessories that I'll probably need. So I think if you've seen my other videos like on TikTok, you've probably seen I'm showing the magic arm that I've got, which I'm also currently using to film this top down shot that you're currently seeing. I'm trying to get other stuff. So I ordered a few bits. Um, I can't really actually remember what I ordered, but let's check it out. So in this first little package. Oh, these are shin pads. Yeah, since like I mentioned, I'm starting to, I'm playing football again at uh, the start of next month. So I needed a pair of shin pads and I got a pair of shin pads. Second package. Ah, more football stuff. Since for football, I got myself some grip socks. Don't have a pair. These look pretty decent. So I got a pair of these. And then, oh, got myself a phone case. Cause I used to have the really clear ones, you know, the ones that end up getting dirty after a while. I used to have a, one of those and then my mate, he's got one of these. Um, and he was like, yo, you should get, get these ones. So I got it. And this is the friction arm. Yeah, I got another pair because I really like this, the one I'm currently using and I wanted to have more than one. So I got another one. That's pretty much it. Need to, I need to rush because I feel like the day has literally gone by so quickly, but now I need to go get ready for the gym. So I'll actually probably see you guys when I get to the gym. of a long session and to be honest apologies for the filming i didn't want to do too much because the gym actually got really busy and i got a little bit anxious because there were so many people around and i try my best to be very conscious of people around me when i'm filming at the gym because public space can't be doing too much you get me but good session did a bit of shoulders but like i said quick session now um now that i'm back i need to actually get started with cleaning up my bathroom it's not as bad as I thought it would be, to be honest. Just gotta do standard clean, wipes, and then shower. That's pretty much it. And then once that's done, need to make some food, and then I'll just get sat down. But so far, I've managed to do everything that I wanted to do anyways, which is the whole point of it. You know, trying to get back into the routine of things, especially being away from your own personal space is not that easy. But I've still got one more day to do it. So I've got another day tomorrow to get back into the flow of things, waking up a little bit more earlier than I did today before I go, before I start work again on Sunday. And that's the whole plan. But I'm gonna get started with the cleaning. Not sure how long this is, it won't take me that long. And then get something to eat because I am very, very hungry.
So everything's all done. I managed to complete everything that I set out to do today, which I'm very happy about. So you got some laundry to do, but I think I'll space that out between tonight and tomorrow because someone in my house is currently using the washing machine. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Like I said, the whole point of the video is me trying to get my life back. I've been out, I've been at home for the past few days. I'm trying to get back into the flow of things. And like I'm gonna to use tomorrow as well to do that. But tomorrow is mainly just gonna be some admin stuff. Like I need to go to the bank and all that kind of stuff. Like there's nothing crazy. But the main agenda was what I needed to do today. Like I said, routine is very important for me. It's something that I had to learn when I moved out of my parents' house. It's something that I had to, I've been learning the past few months when I've been since living in Manchester because it's it kind of sets your day. I mentioned this on during my 31 day challenge, which obviously if you have no idea what I'm talking about, the whole month of March, I did a challenge where I posted every single day for 31 days talking about different topics that I was always never, I was, you know, I was always fairly scared to talk about and things that, you know, came to mind. So if you haven't actually seen it, definitely go check it out. But other than that, for one of the days I've talked, spoke about how important it is to start the day right. Obviously, today is not a great example for it because, to be honest, I procrastinated a little bit in the morning. <laughs> I should have got, gotten up much earlier than I than I did today, but I just I was just very tired. I got back yesterday, so I've just been very drained. But that's my excuse. But normally, I try my best to wake up around nine a.m. on the days I'm not working. Obviously, if I'm working, I'm up by five. So just trying to start your day right is very important, and it's never easy, but. I've learned to give myself a little bit of slack when it comes to getting up on time because it's not that, like I said, it's not easy for anyone and everyone's schedules are completely different. So it's something that I had to learn. And besides that, time management. That's, that's the main thing. Younger me, I was terrible at time management, but as I've gotten older and with so much I need to do, I try my best to space things out. Like once I'm even done right now, I've got an edit to post to, to get ready to post for tomorrow. It's a short form edit. That I got an idea about while I was filming today. So I'm gonna edit that tonight and post that for tomorrow. And then I need to help out another uh, help out a friend with the edit if she needs it. But if she doesn't, then I've got time. And then I'll just be relaxing for the rest of the evening. So it's those little things I've tried my best to to do. You know, get my life back, get my routine back, and it's it's it helps. It really does help. So, like I said, if you're new to this channel again and you've made it this far, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Obviously, if you already know who I am, then welcome back. I'm, trying, I'm gonna try my best to keep, to stick to this. Don't think I'll be doing any challenges that will take me out for the next month, but we're gonna try my best. But if there's any specific content or any topics that you'd like me to discuss on, please mention it in the comments, then I'll be very grateful. But in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great evening, weekend, by the time you see this, I'm not sure when that will be, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Safe. So, Back to the basics, been a lot of things, but I've never been basic. Run around bases, came from the basement, never been shameless. So I got stay in the streets, get dangerous, so I might bang it. Don't like hanging, less you family, please don't claim it.